Hey, what's up, this is Tech Brothers. Huawei began 2017 with the release of flagship smartphone Huawei P10. The smartphone is the next generation of last year's Huawei P9, which received many positive reviews from users and many tech bloggers. The new smartphone received a dual camera Leica, an updated design, the latest version of Android Nougat, and many other improvements. I've already reviewed Huawei P10 Plus, and now I want to tell you about Huawei P10. Unlike Plus version, the standard model comes with more compact 5.1-inch display. Later I will make detailed comparison of both smartphones, but for now, let's review Huawei P10. The price of smartphone is about $450. In the description under the video you can find link where to buy smartphone cheaper, as well as other useful information about the smartphone. Let's start with unboxing. The smartphone comes in very interesting white box. Unlike many other phones, the front panel opens in different directions, like doors. Also, you can see model numbers and factory stickers on the front panel. The back side provides some information about Huawei P10. If you forget about memory, chipset, camera, or other specs of smartphones, you can find them on the back panel. So, let's open the box and see what's inside. Here you can see the smartphone in factory film. It has really compact size compared to 5.5-inch devices that I reviewed for the last time. Under the phone, there is use manual, back case, SIM needle, USB cable, earphones, power adapter. The package content is the same as UAP 10 Plus, so there is nothing surprising. UAP 10 looks very similar to last year's P9. Also, the Chinese manufacturer borrowed some elements from iPhone 6 and iPhone 7. All of them have rounded shapes and stylish metal bodies. However, all modern flagship smartphones look similar. Do you agree with me? I have black version of smartphone, and it's discreet and elegant. Also, you can choose blue, golden, rose gold, and white colors options. The first feature of Huawei P10 it is a compact display. It has diagonal of 5.1 inches, so it's more comfortable to hold in the hand than 5.5-inch devices. If you look at the front panel, here you can see the first difference between P9 and P10 smartphones. New devices come with fingerprint reader and a home button. As you remember, Huawei P9 had fingerprint reader on the back. I think it's a really important change. Also, you can see front camera, earpiece, and other sensors about display. Huawei P10 is not full screen or bezel-less phone. So it has quite big top and bottom panels, just like OnePlus 5. The back panel looks very stylish. Most of it is made of made metal. While at the top you can see the black panel with dual camera and LED flash. The company logo is located in the center, which used to be a fingerprint reader. There is nothing on the top of the phone. But you can see 3.5mm audio jack and USB Type-C ports at the bottom. The right side has power button and volume rocker, while on the left side there is slot for SIM cards and microSD memory card. Huawei P10 looks the same as Huawei P10 Plus, but only in a more compact size. There is like twins. And if you prefer more compact smartphone, then Huawei P10 will be a good option. If you want bigger screen, your choice for P10 Plus. The smartphone is equipped with 5.1-inch Full HD IPS display. The right and left sides have thin bezels, while top and bottom are quite bit, but there is front camera and home button with fingerprint reader, respectively. The pixel density is perfect. 432 ppi. The text and images look sharp and scripts. I don't want to talk about strange figures, brightness, colors gamut and more. I just tell you the display has great viewing angles, high brightness levels, even outdoors and vibrant colors. By the way, you can change the white balance and colors temperature in the setting menu. It's very useful for people who prefer warmer or colder colors.
Huawei P10 runs on latest Android 7.0 Nougat. It's a very customized version of Android. If you have never used Huawei smartphones, then its notification center is very strange. Here you can find the most popular functions, the active functions and blue color. By default smartphone has black, white and blue color shape. However, you can choose hundreds of different themes. Among the most interesting features of user interface are ultra battery mode, screen recording, split screen multitasking, quiet application from GoPro, and much more. Also, I should say that user interface is very optimized, so it works very fast and smooth. I don't notice any problems such as lags, breaking, slowdown, and others. Despite a large number of settings and applications, it really works fast. Of course, good hardware is needed to fast and smooth working of smartphone. Huawei P10 is powered by flagship chipset from Huawei called Kirin 960. The same processor is used in Mate 9. In fact, P10 has almost the same specification as Mate 9, such as 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. As I already said, user interface works fast and smooth. Also, the chipset is energy efficient, so the smartphone provides good battery life. Later I will make detailed performance tests of Huawei P10. But now I want to show you benchmarks. As you know, benchmarks allow us to compare the performance of different smartphones. First, let's start with Antutu. As you can see, Huawei P10 has about 130,000 points. It's really good result, just like many other flagships on the market. I think it's really good for $450 smartphones. Other benchmarks, Yikbench 4 shows 1866 points in single core test and 6126 points in multi core test. Benchmarks confirm that Huawei P10 is really flagship smartphone. Later I will play some heavy games and launch different apps. You can find this video in the description. Huawei P10 uses the latest camera development from Huawei and Leica. As you know, Leica is a well-known manufacturer of professional cameras, and now it's helped Huawei to produce cameras for phones. Huawei P10 comes with Dury camera. The first 12MP sensor is color, and the second is 20MP monochrome sensor. They work together to take quality photos in low-light conditions, as well as providing 2x low-slash zoom. The aperture of lenses is f2.2. The front camera is 8 megapixel sensor and bright aperture f1.9. Alicia will make detailed camera test and publish video on our Tech Browser YouTube channel. Huawei P10 is a compact smartphone with 5.1 inch display, so it has more battery than Huawei P10 Plus. Our Hero has 3200mAh battery, while Huawei P10 Plus 3750mAh battery. However, I think the battery life is about the same, because Huawei P10 comes with Full HD Plus display, not QHD, like P10 Plus. Also, Huawei P10 is powered by energy-efficient chipset and even extra power saving mode, so the user can count on the full day or on a single charge. Later, we will make battery test and you will see battery life and charging time. By the way, the smartphone supports fast charge technology and full charging time should take about 90 minutes. Huawei P10 supports 20 LTE bands, 6 3G bands and the usual quiet band 2G. Also there is a dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.2, GPS, GLONASS, Galileo for GPS positioning and even NVS for contactless payments. Also smartphone comes with USB Type-C port. Interesting that it's not regular USB Type-C port because it has two mode contexts for supercharged tech, but it doesn't interface other Type-C accessories. By the way, there is 3.5mm audio jack, so you can listen music from your favorite headphones. What QFAP10 lacks in FM radio support and air blaster. First of all, you should know that sound in QWP10 is designed by Hard and Curtain, and the DSC is made of Yamaha Commercial Audio. The sound is pretty loud, dynamic and detailed. I listen to rock, blues, vocal, jazz, fun, and others, and instruments are simple amazing. If you use QWP Music app, you must run DTS.
If you are a fan of Huawei, then P10 is excellent smartphone. It has beautiful design, compact size, quality display, good hardware and flagship cameras. The only drawback can be user interface, because it creates customized. However, if you already use Huawei smartphone, then it is a rather advantage. The smartphone was released in February 2017, so today the price is very attractive, just about $450. In description under the video you can find link where to buy smartphone cheaper. Thanks for watching. Later I will make camera battery performance test of Huawei P10. All links are in description. Subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers.